Hi there. Today is Sunday, July 2nd, and this is our Creative Week with well, your host, Jennifer Vanderbeek of ScratchTheLive.com. Oh dear. I really need to like work on that intro, you know? <laughs> How has your week been? Uh, mine has been, well, per usual, it's been a little up and down. Um, a lot of it was a very tired week. I, I, all I wanted to do was sleep. That happens sometimes, so I'm not beating myself up about it because I did, I did make some headway um, on some different projects. Uh, first of all, I, um, gosh, wait, where was I going to start? Oh, well, I did get some writing done this week, and I wanted to kind of share too. Not only that, I did get some writing done this week, um, continuing to work on the first draft of book five in my Eden Creek cozy mystery novel series. Um, I, yesterday I went to a writer's meetup, um, in Tallahassee and, you know, I knew that there were, I do knew that there's a couple of like writing groups in Tallahassee, um, but I'd never really just been of a mind to search them out until this week. I kind of, or well, I guess it was last week that I found it. Um, kind of got a wild hair and said, you know what, let me look. And so I did, and I found one and that has, um, they have different, they meet on different um, days and evenings and stuff for, you know, to allow for different schedules. But uh, the one I went to meets every other Saturday mid-afternoon for a few hours. And there's a mechanism by, by way um, you can upload some pages and everybody can take a look ahead of time. And, you know, that way they can offer edit suggestions, feedback, et cetera. Um, and that was, that's really cool. So I did not upload anything this week. I was like, mm, let me, let me kind of, you know, read the room, feel it out a little bit. But I did go to the meetup and I met two lovely local authors, one of which is also a cozy mystery writer. And it was just like, oh, I could not have, I could not have hoped for a better outcome from that. Um, so uh, we exchanged information and, you know, well, we might be able to like, you know, help each other out because as we were talking, you know, she made the point that, well, it's really good to get feedback from all different types of readers and writers. Um, there is something to be said for making sure that you're getting feedback specifically from the people who are interested and love your genre, which I fully agree. Um, it can be, you know, it, the, the reception of the work can be a lot different if it's a genre somebody enjoys versus you know, somebody just looking at nuts and bolts of a story. All can be valuable, though, in, you know, in its own way. So, so yeah, that happened yesterday. And uh, so I'm still, you know, a little happy about that. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to, um, you know, to seeing how she and I can kind of work together to make our own books better. Um, she's on her first book. Of course, I'm on my fifth. But, uh, yeah, that was, that turned out really well. So, um, so yeah, there's that update. Um, let's see, let's start on the physical stuff. Let me show you where I'm at with the, um, building with, with lace, like sampler shawl. Um, and B, I have gotten, woo, excuse me. I have gotten through the second of three repeats of this circular lace pattern up here. I'm very much enjoying it. I think I mentioned this last week that I very much enjoyed how this uh, pattern author constructed her circles and, and different from a way that I'd done in a previous shawl. And uh, yeah, I'm, it's, it's quite interesting and I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of some of the new to me stitches that are used in certain parts of the circle. Um, and, and really enjoying that. Um, another thing that I worked on this week, I believe I showed you a little polar bear head that I sculpted. Um, this would have, uh, this would have been sculpted back before I went to Arizona. Um, only to find that, hmm, so here's the body. I have like hair ties holding the limbs sort of how I think I want him composed, but yeah, um, 
the head's a wee bit small. And I knew that. And I knew I was going to need to make another one. So I did. This week, I, uh, this week I sat down and I made a second bear head. This one isn't painted. Um, but you can see he's a little bit bigger. Not bigger enough, though. <laughs> because, you know, when I try and fix him in, yeah, it it's still a little on the small side. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's not quite, it, it, mm, it's not the right proportion. So I have a second polar bear head. <laughs> I was okay with having one spare. Um, having a second spare was <sighs> not my favorite thing in the world, but it's okay. It's okay. So I got smart this time. And as I began the third head, now the third head is not finished. This is, this is just the inner layer. Um, what I did was I crumpled foil around a dowel. In this case, this is an old paintbrush that had gotten nasty. And so I'm just using the, the uh, handle, the barrel of the paintbrush. And so I, I got the basic like head proportion and the nose um, until I thought it was going to be the right size. And yes, I think that this will work quite a bit. I think I'm going to have him kind of like propped up on his back paws a little bit, but then his head's going to be resting on his front paws. And so I think that this will be much better in proportion. Um, but you're saying, wait, didn't you say it's foil? Yes, it's foil. And then I covered it in masking tape to kind of give it a, um, give a good base to add uh, clay onto later. And, uh, yeah, and also to help the, the, um, dowel stay put. So, I did, yeah, so, the tale of three polar bear heads. It is what it is. Um, what else? What else? You know, that's already kind of a lot, but despite it being a very tired week and where I, you know, didn't get tons and tons done, I do want to show you what arrived. This is like a medium size uh priority mailbox it is chock full of red leather i know it's kind of looking orangey on the uh on the screen on the on my uh monitor at the moment but it is very much very red and um it is lovely it is automotive automotive leather um and they are off cuts and remnants and scraps from a, a car detailer a car customizer um, who, you know, was, wanted to be able to get rid of, um, their offcuts from the previous projects. And, uh, you know, they posted on, on TikTok about, you know, like, would people buy these? You know, I don't want to throw them away. I'd like to, you know, it could be worth something to somebody, I guess, but really would people buy these? Um, yes. Hi, I'm people. Um, <laughs> by the time I saw the update where she had packaged them by, by weight into boxes, ready to go um, and put them up on our website. Most of the bundles had sold already, um, but I was quite happy to pick up um, the red leather. And while some of them are smaller, um, although this one I'm probably, I could probably do something. Um, I have a lot of ideas for, for what you can for, um, but especially these larger remnants, are going to, I believe, become journal covers and so forth. And um, because they're automotive leather, they're going to be wonderfully resilient um, and flexible and, and all that. So yeah, I'm going to be doing some bookbinding um, in the future. I also consider, especially for some of the uh, for smaller pieces or like remnants of, of you know, what I make from them, um, I could see making maybe some earrings or some other small jewelry projects with them. Maybe cut out petals and make some um, leather roses. I think those would be really pretty. Um, you know, and I can, like, and even going back to the journals, the, the blank books and stuff, um, I can paint on this. Um, it's a very smooth, very, very nice surface. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with this. But, yeah, this... This is five pounds of leather remnants that uh, 
I admit it was an impulse buy, um, but it's one that I'm not going to regret because I really do think I can, uh, I believe that I can turn it into um, some fun stuff. And I also really enjoy the little burst of creative juice that, uh, that it coming in and, and being able to just kind of paw through the box <laughs> affords me. Sometimes we need that, that little extra bump. Um, it's probably not the most responsible thing in the world to admit no. Sometimes we need that little extra bump. And so that was mine this week. And uh, while I, you know, am making sure that I do not um, forget about the other projects, um, I definitely, that I have going on, I'm definitely looking forward to getting out the papers and, and, and the linen thread and, and designing some blank books and some notebooks and, and having fun with that leather, just making things. Yeah, that is, uh, that's been my week. Um, I would love to hear about what you're working on. Um, coming up this week, it is the 4th of July here in the U.S. And so, um, you know, we're not really doing anything. We're not planning on going anywhere. We're just going to, you know, grill some hot dogs at home kind of thing. Um, a nominal uh, observation of the day. But for me, it's actually actually a little bit something else because it marks the two year anniversary of when I left my corporate job. And that's kind of good and bad because I thought I would be farther along. I, I understand some of the things that went into not being as far along. Um, and I know some of the things that I really need to start stepping up and working on to make my art and writing, um, a more viable on paper financial success. Um, it's been wonderful for my creative soul, um, but as far as contributing to the household, it's not doing so much. So I really got to step that up. And and yeah, so uh, it's a little sobering for me, but it's also like you know, well, I've I've made it this far, and I just need to keep you know, it's it's up from here. It's up from here. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. Thank you so much for stopping by and kind of checking in with me this week. As always, uh, do something for yourself, make the time, uh, to refill your creative well, and uh, I'll see you back in a week.